Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA news of the last few days. I'm Alexander, back from holiday and I have some interesting things to report this month. Let's get started. At the end of January, Fee published an article on Medium about what's next for the project. Actually, Fee is was just started for fun in the Sooniverse and distributed to the first members, but now it should get more substance. So now the Fee DAO is going to be created, which will be managed by the community and requires 10,000 fee and an exclusive fee membership card. The last episode was the Inatpa award. Here are some small impressions and photos. There is also a video with small impressions. The link is below in the description. On the 1st of February, the IOTA Foundation published a blog article entitled Incentivizing Energy Savings with Energy Knip and IOTA. We are already familiar with Energy Knip. They presented their project two years ago. In this article, co-founder Adri Wischmann talks about his experience. Energy Knip has 30,000 active wallets and since 2021, they have distributed a total of 300,000 euros and made 50,000 transactions. In the last video, only as a short text insert, now officially loyal, the app for watchers and stamps cards, which so far only works in Germany, is officially launched and has already received its first update. You can now see your Shimmer address in the settings, so you can track it in Explorer. Until a few days ago, over 1000 NFT were minted and $100 were blocked for it. Some users have also tried the app and coupons and it works, so don't worry. Muandello has found a patent. The concept may sound familiar. It was filled by Litbot Inc. from the US and describes a method for autonomous collection of waste and recycling beans with robots and monitoring of fuel level by sensors. The fourth assembly round has been completed. 64% of the IOTA supply has been stacked. Node operators should all verify the event, which they should all have done by now. As a reminder, two years of staking should take a total of 90 days per round. 90 days multiplied by four rounds, 360 days. So we should be halfway through the rounds. Also, don't forget to update your Firefly world for IOTA, not Shimmer, to 171, so that you can participate in the fifth round of staking, as the fifth round obviously started on the 11th of February, for 90 days. There is an IOTA Foundation blog post about this, nothing new for many. Another patent was published on the 6th of February, it was filled by Hitachi Transport System from Japan. This patent is for managing inventory in trade from multiple logistics providers in multiple countries. TJ Kyoto showed a cool video of a chat app using Shimmer. The send and receive time is quite long, but the example shows what is possible. Moving on to the one of my favorite projects at the moment, Everything. There have been some great updates since last time. For example, you can write directly to other people. There are notifications, so there is a lot to try out in the small alpha. According to Patch the Code, who are currently programming the project and on his own, the first information on how IOTA or Shimmer will play a role will be coming soon. Pi presented a small teaser, namely their white paper, which will be presented soon. Deep Finance presented their website with a new look. Digimark published an article on LinkedIn about the EU digital product passport. With this passport, all products will soon have to be labeled to better inform the consumer. For example, how sustainable the product is. You can see the origin of the raw materials and the supply chains. Digimark had now tested a pilot project with IOTA where you can track car batteries. By scanning the battery QR code, the unique digital identity provides information on the material composition, car instructions, maintenance history and who performed the maintenance. The IOTA Foundation is conducting a survey about DeFi. The whole thing is for Inatba research to better understand DeFi, which means we as a community can actively help both sides. So it's a mandatory survey for all active members. Tangleswap presented their white paper on the 2nd of February. If you are too lazy to go through the whole thing, feel free to watch my video for it. But in this video, vary you two exclusive pictures how the platforms looks like. That's all I can show you. Due to time problems of other video producers, the video is postponed to Friday the 17th of February. 
Web3 Berlin, which seems to be the biggest crypto conference in Europe, starts on the 16th of February. IOTA will be there to present their vision of a decentralized future. 55 companies will be there. LF Edge tweets that Dell, Cededa, Climate Check and IOTA are monitoring the first biogas plant and measuring its carbon footprint. The plant is in Molina in Chile and digital measurements have cut the process from what would normally take 24 till 48 months to 4 to 6 weeks. What we are seeing now is a small unaccelerated snippet of how fast and well the tangle is working right now. I just took the note from Siedler XBFS that he tweeted and it runs and runs and runs just like good old energizer rabbit. Before we get to all the updates, a small partnership had been formed between TangleHub and DLT Green. This should give the pipe and the cloud a better network and more stability. Dominique gave us some interesting insight into development of Shimmer on the 14th of February. He talked to Bitpanda and the team behind it really wants to list Shimmer. There have also been contact with other exchanges, but he can't say anything about it. As smart people always say, where there's a will, there's a way. Bitpanda. Don't make speeches, just integrate it. But what we are interested in is the update of Shimmer with the EVM and therefore the smart contracts. On the 2nd of February the Alpha 6 was released, the next day Alpha 7 and 8. On the 9th of February we had the 050 Alpha 1, on the 13th of February the Alpha 3 and yesterday the Alpha 4 and 5. What does all this tell us? It does not mean that we will got the version 099 before the beta comes. It may come with version 073, but it may also come with version 051. The numbering doesn't tell us much about progress. The quick updates indicate that testing is going well and bugs are being fixed immediately. The signs are good that the beta is coming and soon. The Tangle Gang did an interview with Timson Labs. One hour Timson Labs talks about their beginning and his projects. That it's for this episode. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye bye.